before the very first pitch, this year's World Series was being called potentially one for the ages. But instead of focusing on the ages, maybe baseball would be better suited being more concerned about their future. One that almost every year is being called into doubt in 2015 is no exception. It is no longer the All-American game, say some. And that is the fringe fans and followers more than a bit concerned about where the boys of summer will be in a generation or two. This and Deflategate, yes, it's back like a Halloween specter. Welcome back to the man who invented the concept of sports business commentary, the sports professor, Rick Haro. All right, professore, here we go, man. We got to talk some baseball first. I know you're getting ready for the game and everything else that's going on here, but here's the Wall Street Journal earlier this year, May of 2015, saying, abandoning baseball. It's dying. It's over. Why do we get these stories every year? Because the Wall Street Journal may not know what they're talking about. The bottom line is kudos to Rob Manfred, the new commissioner that it's instilled some diversity of demographics. We all understand the target baseball fan is the older white male who spends a lot of sponsorship money, by the way. But also the idea of MLB.com is reaching younger and younger audiences and baseball is more and more hip. And the bottom line is Rob Manfred speeding up the game, doing some things to make baseball fashionable again. Average franchise value up about 25 to 30%. These playoffs, by the way, had teams in major markets, two in New York, although one is left standing, L.A., the Chicago Cubs, a resurgence of big market teams, small market stories. And I personally, by the way, am very, very bullish on baseball. But what about those who point to this, the number of youth baseball players, 7 to 17, gone from 8.8 .8 million in 2000 to 5.3 million in 2013. Fewer kids are playing the game. Yeah, and, and I would bet to you, I'd bet you if we ask this question two years from now, and we will, that the trend reverses itself and goes back up because of the conscious effort, baseball in the inner cities, they've got programs that are attempting to get those kids who were disenfranchised and now bring you back. You make a good point, which is they've got to do it because they have no choice, but they are doing it. All right, 60 seconds left, and here we go. Deflate Gate is back. The NFL is going back to court here. There's no new evidence being submitted by the NFL here. Absolutely none. Come on, Rick, you're also an attorney here. This is just a dumb thing to do, isn't it? No, I think it's a pretty smart thing to do for Roger really? Goodell. Half of all of the other commissioners, because what he's attempting to do is a process issue. He thinks there are some process things that ought to be looked at by the appellate court and he's defending the integrity of the power of the commissioner's office. The reason why no new evidence is submitted, because this is not going to be an appeal about evidence. It's an appeal about process. I'm not sure he wins, but he's got to file the appeal. 30, it's not gonna 30 seconds, though. Isn't it just something that they've got to give up on here? Because it's only hurting the game every single time we sit here and talk about it. Yeah, it is. But, so let's not talk about it. Let's let the lawyers take over. <laughs> if you were a lawyer, would you take this case? Uh, yeah, because they're paying me a lot of money to do it. How's see, that? there you go. It's good to see that no matter what happens, no matter how many years we know each other, it always comes down to how much money you're being paid. Rick Haro doesn't yeah. change, and I learned from the best when it comes down to that. All yeah, right, I buddy. Take you to lunch next week, not the other way around. Okay, no, that's good. Look, anytime you're offering to pay, I can't remember the last time you paid. What was it, arena football in the 70s? Have a good time. We'll talk to you next week. Rick Haro, the sports professor, he joins us every week right here. Uh, and by the way, baseball's not dying. It's still a great game, although I will go ahead and admit I got to have my hockey. And if I got my hockey, I'm in good shape, all right, and it's that time of year. Rock on, True Believers. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time right back here on the Fastest 60 Minutes in Sports and News, The Hardline.